<laughs> oh, let's put a smile back on that. I'll reconnect with Jamie and Tabuso at the False Bay Yacht Club at the moment. It's a club with an incredible history and doing amazing things. We've cooked, we've had a little bit of fitness fun. Time now to get into the culture of this amazing yacht club. Welcome back to it. Uh, now I'll skip on the, the show. Boat. Yes. I'm literally threatening everyone to skip onto the boat and be a skipper. But yes, welcome back to it. Earlier on this morning, uh, we told you guys about the amazing environmental work that the uh, Yacht Club is doing, and it's fantastic. It's globally recognized, and these are the standards that we want to be hearing. But there's other work that they do in the field of development, and here to tell us more about the, that stuff and the work that they do in that space is uh, uh, sailing instructor Tommy Madoda uh, from the uh, club. Uh, developmental sailing program and of course it's an outreach program that is set up by the Yacht Club and of course we've got Natasha Fish who is the general manager who's also here to tell us all about that. Good morning guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Tommy Hi. maybe I'll start with yes. you. How yeah. did this program of sailing come about? There's a, a, a great need for you uh, to get involved in, in, into the sport so our sailing uh, manager Lindsay Obertros saw an opportunity mm -hmm. to get the kids from Low Hill uh, Secondary school to get involved into the sailing. Mm -hmm. So yes, uh, that, that's where it came about uh, the whole sailing. Uh, okay. of, yes, I, I, I love this. I love seeing them interacting uh, with the yacht club and yes. all of the different yes. things that they can do here. They learn so much from yes. this. But Natasha, above and beyond this, you also run a, a Clean Seas Sailors for the Sea program, where you've bent the use of disposable plastic. It's something I'm sure you teach the kids. Tell us more about this uh, initiative. Okay. Well, sailors are generally in tune with the environment, mm. you know, things like pollution and climate change and, and etc. Mm. Um, Lindsay Oberholzer, our sailing manager and the Commodore at the time, mm. um, decided to to do something about this to try and make our regattas more sustainable. Mm. So um, she then found the Sailors for the Sea Clean Regattas program. This is, you know, very sustainable and um, the certification is amazing. So we've now got gold status oh, wow. for the second for the second regatta. Yeah. Our first regatta, we decided that we were going to um, get rid of single-use plastics. Mm. So you know the club's been recycling for many years, mm -hmm. and uh, we're making everyone aware that uh, plastics just a no-no. It's clogging up the oceans. It's just not on. Mm. So uh, we upcycle. Yeah. As you'll notice when you go to the other side of the club, um, you'll see we've got an eco brick whale. Yeah. And um, we've upcycled some jellyfish, oh, etc. Yeah. So, I love it. So it's amazing. You know, we use these for our events. And, yeah. Um, yeah it's, and they are it's such great. a great talking piece, which absolutely. is absolutely yeah. fantastic. Absolutely. Mm. Tommy, it's so yes. good for the environment, but of yes. course, getting the kids from different communities yes. involved. What yes. has been some of the positive effects that you've seen? on these learners? Uh, first thing, I can start with saying these kids, they come from uh, national in South Africa. They haven't seen some of them the ocean before. Mm -hmm. So it's their first time coming out here at sea and we teach them a lot of skills. As we mentioned, they come from a low hill uh, school. Uh, what, what we do with them, uh, we, we, we give them an opportunity when we, when they finish their uh, secondary school, they will have an opportunity to go to the industry and work even in a, a, a yacht sailing environment. So we basically providing them a skill and then giving a, a job opportunity to them. If they leave uh, the school, they will have uh, a skill behind their, 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 their back, yes. So I mean, yeah. Yeah. Natasha, you guys really are so inspiring to see the work that you do, yeah. particularly with the kids here. Uh, what are some of the future plans that the club has around number one the environment and teaching young people about this sort of thing but also taking this message to various communities and what is the plan with this initiative this development initiative to get these young people in this space well the club run generally runs lots of environmental talks mm. and that's um, headed up by Cape Red and their environmental scientists so you spoke to Professor Colin Atwood earlier mm. and he runs some environmental talks and dives and we you know we always 
we're always looking for new ways to involve the community. Yes. So we open these talks up to the community mm -hmm. of Simonstone and the far south. Mm. And we've had excellent responses. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Love it. Mm. Love it. Thank mm. you guys so much for bringing us, okay. Tommy yes. Natasha as well. We were out here at False Bay uh, Yacht Club. Uh, but you are, of course, go out there, make a change in yeah. your environment, in your community. Um, and that is us from False Bay Yacht Club. Check okay. out the False Bay Yacht Club on all of their social media. There's amazing information on there and you can get involved.